It's back to school time already, and if you want your child to succeed in their studies, making sure they have a nutritious lunch every day is extremely important. Nutritional therapist Amy Ruth Feingold is back to show us some kid-friendly lunch ideas for this new school year. Welcome. Oh, thank you. I love when you come for the kids because then I take ideas for yeah. me, <laughs> like adults. Right. It's really for everybody. Mm -hmm. so definitely. This is my favorite segment. I have a nine and a five-year-old, so I'm in the thick of this every day. <laughs> right, right. So definitely some easier tips and tricks. Okay, so what's first? Okay, peanut butter and jelly sandwich we all love, but just to amp up the nutrition a little bit, we can do almond butter and instead of jam, which is a lot of sugar, slice strawberries. So I'm going to put you to work, okay. Andrea, because before you know it, you're going to be doing this. I know. <laughs> That's so true. That's so true. So just peanut butter. Okay. And the jelly. And while you're making that, just to show you, um, kebabs and skewers are so kid friendly. Kids love being able to pick up something. Mm -hmm. So and putting your fruit okay. on a kebab is a great idea. So uh, while you're making that, I'll just show you the next lunch that I have. I love these chips because you can actually scoop the guacamole in the chips and it's really oh. kid friendly and fun. Well, let me demo. <laughs> <laughs> So you just definitely sit, yeah, and are those regular if you need. Are those regular chips? Yeah, these and are regular chips. Oh, okay. chips. They're, they're, they're the, the scooper, scooper chips. ones. Okay. And what I did is I just did, you know, your regular turkey wrap instead of a sandwich because I just think that looks prettier. Mm -hmm. And what do you have in the turkey wrap? Uh, it's just turkey. Actually, that's goat cheese because mm. my daughter uh, is better off with goat rather than cow mm -hmm. and strawberries. Oh, okay. And I use a, uh, a collard green so it doesn't get soggy. And definitely do most of this the night before. Okay. When you wake up in the morning, you don't you don't know what you're going to wake up to with young kids. Mm -hmm. Let's be real. So the more you can do at night, the better. Awesome. Okay, what's this, what's this Okay, this, this one? is my favorite. Um, mm -hmm. Macaroni and cheese fondue because, mm -hmm. and I can do this gluten and dairy-free for my daughter, you can take a celery stick and use that as a scooper. I'll just use the carrot. carrot. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> So oh, that's gluten-free, Cindy. Okay. Um, and then you also have celery yeah. and, and cucumbers celery in And there. just as a scooper. So it's kind of like a fondue. And is this a regular mm. chocolate chip cookie? A chocolate chip cookie. So yeah, what are the, what is your rule of thumb with treats like that? Well, if you look at the package, 10 grams of sugar or less. And there are so many uh, brands now. Made Good has, there's gluten-free, dairy-free, nut-free, mm -hmm. uh, low in sugar, chocolate chip, uh, granola bites that I have. Mm -hmm. um, These are the there. next one, right? Right, you can try that to me. Those are okay. great. So 10 grams, 10 grams or less. 10 grams of less of sugar for. for anything in a package that's sweet. Okay. And there, there's a lot around. Mm -hmm. This one looks like uber healthy. Well, this is leftovers, really. Oh. So uh, from rotisserie chicken the night before, mm -hmm. just put it on a, a kebab. Oh, and cool. with, that's cheese, cucumber, tomato. Mm -hmm. And then just your cantaloupe skewers. Mm -hmm. and melons in general really last long in the fridge. So you really want to stock up so you don't have to go to the market every day. Your melons, right. your clementines, your vegetables that stay long, mm -hmm. celery. Um, and then this, mm. chia pudding. So in case your child has a better, mm -hmm. a more sophisticated palate, you can, um, you can put frozen berries in the bottom. You can layer it. Chia pudding in the middle, then some fresh berries on top. And it's really... A meal in one because mm. chia seeds are high in omega threes. And the, does and, this need to be refrigerated or anything? Um, you know, what, when you put it in the lunch box, yeah, you have up stay, to four okay. hours. You're fine. Oh, okay, that's good. It tastes like uh, tapioca pudding. Yeah, if you like a pudding mm -hmm. uh, consistency, this is a really, mm. really healthy option. And this is a good idea. The yeah, back to the uh, the almond butter, butter, and, almond butter and, and strawberry. Right, so almond butter um, is less prone to mold mm -hmm. than peanuts, Ooh. which is why I prefer that. And oh. especially with the peanut allergies, just better to keep it out of the classroom. And exactly. then just one last thing, it's always fun to make it with your child. Like they yes. can say, hey, I want to have the strawberries for my snack. I want to have this, and then you know fill their own little slots. Absolutely, give them two options, yep. and then That's they'll it. eat one. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Amy. We appreciate you coming in, and all of her back to school lunch ideas will be on our website. Website CBSNewYork.com.